Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Warden. I'm joined by Warden David Mayberry. How are you today, sir? Very good, thanks. Per another wonderful day in Oxford County. Perfect. So uh, upcoming council, we have a few issues here to discuss. Uh, the first one that caught my eye is uh, the Norfolk Mall redesignation. What's happening there? Well, the, uh, the county of Norfolk is looking at their official plan and, and trying to decide what they want to do with different properties. And one of the suggestions that they've come forward with is that they would redesignate or rezone the Norfolk Mall area um, from, uh, from what is now called a hamlet area to uh, um, sort of shopping mall, commercial sort of area. And a concern for the county, of course, is that uh, we provided uh, water and, and wastewater services to the mall, and uh, with the understanding that it wouldn't expand beyond what it is, because we don't really want to have all that much competition uh, against the, uh, or, or for the town of Tilsonburg. And, and so the, uh, the county planning staff have come back with a report that said uh, they think it should stay status quo. Uh, we recognize that there's another about 15 acres there that could be expanded. You could have a kind of a large box, uh, sort of box store uh, type mall there if they wanted to. Um, but that would be in direct competition with, uh, with Tilsonburg, which is sitting right on its boundaries. And so the county uh, report is to, uh, to, for the council to say that they're not in favor of the changing of the designation. And we'll see how that goes at the council meeting tonight. So the, the motive here is completely business related that we want to make sure that the town of Tilsonburg can, can continue on without, you know, competing with a big shopping center. Well, I think that's uh, that's a lot of it. It also then it becomes uh, if you're servicing for one, uh, do they, you know, if it expands, do we service for the rest of the area as well? So there's a servicing area. The, re the reason, of course, that we wanted to service them all was because it uh, could have a negative impact uh, the way it was. It could have had a negative impact on the groundwater source that uh, Tilsonburg was using, and, and we wanted to obviously protect the people of Tilsonburg there as well. And water is actually the next thing I want to talk about here. Uh, we're looking at the wastewater systems and uh, harmonizing those. Well, the, uh, the report to the County Council tonight is to look at uh, should we harmonize the, uh, all the different rates for the uh, rural townships. And the rural townships a few years ago harmonized all their water rates, so everybody pays the same. And now staff are suggesting that maybe we should do the same for waste rates. The, or wastewater rates. The, uh, the challenge, of course, is that we have a, a variety of different systems. We have three or four different systems and that each cost, you know, vary for, uh, for each of the, uh, for the systems. So a couple of things we want to look at uh, is uh, if you brought them all together, everybody pays the same. They're all theoretically getting the same service. Should they, should they pay the same? Or do we, uh, do we say, well, because of one system being more expensive, the people that use that system should pay more? And I think that's sort of the question that Council will be dealing with tonight. Uh, the, uh, the wastewater for the rural areas uh, theoretically could go down a little bit. Uh, some will go up. But, uh, um, so there's, uh, there's an advantage to harmonizing. But then uh, wanting to, we want to make sure that each of the systems is operating properly and is, whatever system we use as we move forward is that we're, uh, we're getting the most efficient and effective uh, system that we can possibly have. So we're, there's, a, there's a number of things happening within, uh, within the rates and we want to just make sure that we do what's, uh, what's best for the people. And we are looking at setting those rates for a four-year term, right? Yes, yes. They, uh, so they have four-year four term for the rates so that everybody kind of knows going forward uh, these are going to be the kind of increases you're going to see each year and, uh, or, or uh, if they're stable. And people will be aware of that coming forward or going forward, I mean. And uh, so we're, uh, we'll see what happens. Perfect. Well, of course, the public is always welcome to attend Oxford County Council meetings as well. Thank you so much for joining me again, Warden Mayberry. And we will see you next time on the next edition of Web Chat with the Warden.